Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we are going to discuss about axial compressive stress in columns. As we know, column is one of the major structural member which carries all the flow loads. So it is super important to design the column properly. Failure of one column may lead to the collapse of the entire structure. Since it carries all the floor loads, it is very important to design the column properly to avoid the collapse of the entire structure. So let's discuss what is axial compressive stress and what are all the permissible limiting values as per IS 13920-2016 and how we can find out this axial compressive stress in column by using ETAB software. So without further delay, let's begin now. First thing first, let's start off with what is axial stress. Axial stress is the stress which is produced in the column when it is subjected to compressive load. Since column is a compression member, it is subjected to compressive load along its longitudinal axis. This axial compressive stress can be defined by force per unit cross-sectional area. Force is the load which is acting on the compression member that divided by the cross-sectional area. Cross-sectional area is the size of the column that is breadth and width of the column. So the formula to calculate the axial compressive stress which is equal to force upon area or load upon area. This axial compressive stress can cause the member to compress, buckle, elongate or fail. So it is important to design the column to withstand the expected axial compressive load and that needs to be within the permissible limit as per IS code. Now let's look into the permissible criteria as per IS13920 for axial compressive stress in column. Class number 7.1 has the permissible criteria for axial compressive stress. The factored axial compressive stress considering all load combinations relating to seismic load shall be limited to 0.4 FCK in all such members except in those covered in 10. So here the limitation is 0.4 FCK. FCK is the compressive strength of concrete. So according to this we need to find out the compressive axial compressive stress in column. So this axial compressive stress in column we can find out using the ETAP software as well as the manual calculation. So let's now see we can how, we can see how we can get the axial forces from ETAP software and then we can calculate the axial compressive stress in column manually to do so we have to go to display before that we have to select the column we are in ground floor plan i'm selecting just this column go to display show tables and then here under analysis and result you have to select element output and then under frame output you have to select this element force columns so this will give you the table of element forces you have to select the combos since the limiting criteria for axial stress in compression is given in IS 13920 that is for earthquake resistant structures or earthquake resistant element so let's select this combination that is 1.2 times dead load plus live load plus EQX give ok and again click on ok you will be getting this table here if you see this output case it not, not selected properly so you have to select this one envelope uh, sorry limit state of collapse load combination 1.2 times dead load plus live load plus eqx now we have got the load axial force let's copy this table and then we can paste it in the excel sheet we have got the table we don't require these data so i'm going to delete this now we need to add the axial stress over here and then axial stress will be in Newton per millimeter square and here permissible stress this is as per IS 13920 and then let's add remarks. Let's see how we can calculate the axial stress in e tabs. This column size is 230 by 600. So let's take the same size over here. The column size is 230 by 600. So this load divided by area 
will give you the axial stress in newton per millimeter square so i have calculated all the axial stress so here the formula is load divided by area divided by 1000 that is to convert the kilo newton to newton per millimeter square next permissible stress as per is 13920 2016 so permissible stress we know 0.4 fck our fck value is 25 newton per millimeter square this is our fck value so here we can add 0.4 multiplied by 25 now you can uh, have a look here the axial stress is 2.35 newton per millimeter square permissible stress is 10 newton per millimeter square so hence axial stress is not exceeding the permissible stress hence it is safe so if it is exceeding this permissible stress then we need to reconsider that means like we need to revise the column size and then we need to redo the analysis and design and again we need to do the same process to check the axial stress in column axial compressive stress in columns now let's look into the limiting criteria as per is 13920 2016 the limiting value is 0.4 fck so column load needs to be less than 0.4 fck multiplied by ag ag is the cross-sectional area if the column load is less than 0.4 fck ag hence it is satisfies the criteria as per is 13920 for example the column load is 1200 kilonewton and fck is 25 newton per mm square column size is 230 by 600 so let's calculate the column load as per this criteria 0.4 fck multiplied by ag so we get 1380 kilonewton as the load hence the column load is less than 0.4 fck ag so it satisfies the criteria as per is 13920 even we can use this value to check with the software column forces we can get the column forces from the software and then we can check with this load whether it is satisfying the criteria or not so friends i hope you like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching